what is going on guys so in this video today if you guys have been following my channel I am still a second lieutenant and I want to talk about why I am not a first lieutenant yet So if you didn't know, in the Army, the first officer rank is a second lieutenant, my current rank, right? And to be promoted to first lieutenant, you really only need 18 months of time in service as an officer, time in grade as an officer, whatever you want to call it. I was enlisted before, but as far as officer promotions are concerned, that doesn't really matter. That just helps me with like the pay scale. It puts me at a higher pay scale because of my time in service, which is actually awesome but for me as an officer my 18 months was back in november so it's been almost five months past due my promotion so i'm basically gonna use this video i haven't done anything wrong or anything but i'm gonna basically use this video as an example for all of you out there that may be potentially uh, looking to get promoted soon or maybe you're just looking to join the military this is just a good overall tip for you guys if you're going into the military so if you didn't know in the military promotions don't happen exactly whenever they're supposed to happen so for example as a second lieutenant if everything was perfect at 18 months regardless i wasn't going to get promoted right then that just doesn't happen because there's like a processing time uh, that takes place so for me for example i was supposed to get promoted i think my first eligible day i got commissioned made 12th or May 13th, which would mean I think November 12th or November 13th, whichever one of those, was going to be the actual day I was eligible for promotion. And then what was going to happen then after that, if everything was fine, is basically the approval process was going to take place. So my battalion commander was essentially going to have to approve me and I was going to have to be on the promotion list and then I would just get promoted because everything would be perfectly fine. And that would take roughly about a month or so. And then what happens in the military, if you do get promoted after your promotion date, they backdate the promotion to the date you were actually supposed to be promoted and any pay that you got in that meantime of that gap when you were supposed to be promoted, you'll get that back pay. So for me personally, I'm gonna have like a five month or potentially even six month back date. So basically all of the second lieutenant pay that I've gotten in the past six months, it's gonna basically work out whatever the first lieutenant pay would be for that and then it's gonna pay me the difference. So if you get promoted late, you're not actually making any less money. You're just gonna get it kind of in like a lump sum on your next payday. So what happened to me and what is the overall tip, the point of this video? Like I said, don't worry if your promotion doesn't happen the day of or the couple weeks after or whatever that you're supposed to get promoted. This goes for enlisted soldiers too. So I wasn't too worried about it. November comes around, didn't get an email telling me that my promotion orders and stuff had gone through because I had asked around to a bunch of different first lieutenants and I was like, hey, you know, so-and-so, that's a first lieutenant. I was like, whenever you were eligible, how long did it take? And for most people, it took a couple weeks to a month for them to actually get an email with their promotion orders in it, and then they were good to go. They didn't have to do anything at all for a second lieutenant getting promoted to first lieutenant. You have to do nothing. The only thing you have to do is graduate from Bullock and have your time and grade or time and service of 18 months, and then that is literally it. So after asking around for a while, I you know wasn't too worried about it, like I said. And then in my particular unit, there are two other second lieutenants who joined the unit and got commissioned right around the same time I did. Literally one of them is in like a couple of days that I got commissioned, the other one was like a month after. So I was fine, they hadn't gotten their promotion orders yet until a couple months later, both of them got their promotion orders and I didn't. And so I was like, something, something's up here, right? You know, normally to get promoted to first lieutenant, you don't have to do anything, normally. So you normally don't have to do anything, but when my peers got promoted, technically ahead of me or before me, um, I thought something was up. And so essentially this is where the point of the video comes into play, where you actually have to do your own due diligence and you can't just kind of sit around and wait for things to happen. So for me personally, I, like I said, I did my due diligence ahead of time. I guess I maybe could have done a little more, which I'll talk about in just a second. But I mean, I asked around and I was like, okay, what do I have to do to get promoted? Like, is there anything at all that I have to do? 
And the answer is no. And then what happened is I noticed my peers were getting promoted and I wasn't. So I'm like, okay, something is up. So I'm again, asking around, trying to research. I'm talking to a bunch of different officers, people who've gone through the same process. And they gave me some sources to talk to, maybe some people to call, some emails, things like that. But ultimately what I did myself is I had done my own research and I looked up what the actual, you know, in Army documentation is the requirement for a second lieutenant to get promoted to first lieutenant. And what I said before is very true. All you got to have is 18 months of time in service as a second lieutenant, and then you have to graduate from Bullock. I graduated from Bullock last June, so it's been close to a year since I've graduated Bullock, so that was no problem. Thinking that the only way that the military is going to know that you've done these things is if you have the paperwork for it, okay? In the Army, I don't know if it's the same case for other branches of the military, but in the Army, there is this website, there's this place on the internet called iPerms, and that is basically where all of your documentation, all of your paperwork and stuff throughout your military career is going to be uploaded to iPerm. So my next thought is, okay, what paperwork do I have to have in my iPerms that proves that I'm eligible for promotion? Basically, you need your college transcripts proving that you actually successfully graduated from college. You also need your commissioning certificate, your commissioning paper, I'm not sure exactly what that form or whatever would be, but you gotta have that in your iPerms, which the commissioning paper is going to show your date of your commission, so your date of your time and grade of a second lieutenant. So 18 months after that date is gonna be when you're eligible, so that's where they're gonna get that number for or that date from. And then you also need the proof that you graduated from Bullock. I'm like, okay, I graduated from Bullock. I know I graduated from Bullock. I did the out processing from Bullock, so you do all the paperwork, but I could not find in my iPerms the document, the DA form 1059, I believe is what it is, that proves that I graduated from Bullock, which is basically the overall evaluation at the end of Bullock that you get, the basic officer leadership course that you go to as a second lieutenant. That wasn't in my iPerms. That was at no fault to me because that is basically a part of the out processing that you do whenever you leave Bullock. You're going to go through all this paperwork and then they are supposed to upload it to iPerms. So basically what I had found out is they didn't upload my DA form 1059 into iPerms, which therefore does not prove or does not show in any way at all that I have even gone to Bullock. So once I figured this out, I was like, well, crap, that sucks. So normally, like I said, you don't have to do anything. All of this is supposed to be done by somebody else. You graduate from Bullock, you do whatever you're supposed to do, you turn in your paperwork, you out process successfully, and the S1 people, the people at Bullock, so for me, the people that were at Fort Gordon that I gave the paperwork to, they were supposed to upload this to iPrims. But the huge thing for this video, and I really hope you guys stuck around for this. I just kind of want to do a little story of the whole process because some of you may be going through the same thing in some other rank. Whatever rank it is, you may be going through something where you should be getting promoted right now, but you're not. And like I said, there's a little bit of a grace period there, but once it kind of get, keeps going, you really need to start digging and you really need to start asking questions. So that's kind of why I kind of outlined the whole story for you guys. But essentially, it was a paperwork issue. And the thing that you have to do in the military, no matter what, anytime you get some paperwork, some documentation, some anything on paper from the army, the military in general, you need to get copies of it. You gotta get copies of stuff. And then you need to put them in what is called an I Love Me book, right? So this is basically a book or a place. I have a little filing cabinet thing right here. This has got it's most most stuff in here is like my army stuff and then also some like real estate documentations and bills of sales and stuff like that. But basically, you need a secure specific place where you're going to put all of your army documentation, all of your military documentation that you've ever gotten period in that one place. I mean, I have this stuff, you know, going back from my initial just enlistment in the military, that whole big, you know, book of paperwork that the recruiter gave me. I mean, I have like my flight itinerary and stuff to go to basic training. I just have literally everything that they've ever given me. You know, if you've ever gotten awards, if you've ever gone to any schools or anything like Bullock for my 
scenario. So Bullock, in my case, is the school that I went to. I made sure I got copies of the stuff. So whenever I found out that my iPerms was missing some paperwork, I didn't have to go through a huge big hassle of trying to contact Fort Gordon. I don't even know really who I would have to contact. I would just have to make even more phone calls and more emails and try to get in contact with people looking for that DA-1059 form. I mean, for all I know, it could have just been lost. And then, I mean, I, don't, I honestly don't even know what I would do if there's no copy of my form that I graduated from Bullock. So that would be a sticky situation. I might have to reach out from the tax, the instructors that were of my bullet can have them do something. I honestly don't know, but luckily for me, I keep all of my paperwork in this little folder filing cabinet thingamajigger. And I got a copy of it and I had faxed it, emailed it to the proper person. They have since emailed it or sent it to the iperms to hrc which is this whole thing that approves it and puts it in iperms so they send it to hrc it is now in iperms so now i am in that waiting game for the two weeks to a month or so until i actually get promoted so like i said the moral of the story is make sure you get copies of everything in the military because you get you could get stuck in a situation where you don't get promoted on time, and I mean, I'm five months late on getting promoted. You know, you could be stuck in a situation where you get an award and you wear it on your ribbon rack, and then at some point in time, you maybe go to a board or you're gonna get promoted to a certain rank, and then they go through all your documentation, and they're like, hey, we don't have the documentation for that Army Achievement Medal, you can't wear that. And you're like, wait a minute, I earned that medal. I, I, I earned that. And then they'll be like, okay, Where's the documentation for it, right? So you have to have, you know, proof in writing that has been signed, official, all this stuff in iPerms, which is the, like I said, it's like the army website thing where we put all of our documents. You need to have that stuff in your iPerms and you also need to make sure you have at least one copy of this stuff. So I've seen a lot of people who have things in different folders and they have basically original copy and they have a co another copy. So they always have a copy of whatever document they have. So they have the original and on the other side, they may have a copy of that. And if they don't have the original, they have a copy or two copies. So you always wanna make sure you have that and you'll be perfectly fine. Because for me, this isn't the first time this has happened to me. The, the other major time that something like this has happened because you know, I've gotten other minor situations where they're like, oh, you haven't done this certain training or certificate or something and I have the copy of the certificate. I give them the certificate and it's like, okay, I don't have to spend five hours doing this online training. I'm good to go. The other major time I was going through my records and I noticed that my awards were incorrect. They had input them incorrectly. It showed that I had two AAMs and not an Army Accommodation Medal, but I actually just have one of each. So I had the paperwork to correct that. I showed that I had one AAM and I had one RCOM and I gave it to them and I faxed it to them and I emailed it to them and it got fixed. So I've talked long enough, but I'm sure you guys have some spare time on your hands with all of the quarantine, staying at home stuff going on. So I hope you guys don't mind it. But that is gonna be it for this video. Don't forget to have your I Love Me book. That is what it is called, the copy of all your paperwork in one specific place, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you stick around some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button, and that would be even better. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, which may be over here if you haven't already. Hope you guys have an amazing freaking day, and I'll see y'all later. Drop.